Okay, so tungsten carbide ring. We're gonna show you the vice grips method and why this might not be a good idea. Turn it, another turn. And it exploded. That would have cut the finger up with all those little shards. That's not very good. And here we go. So you put some force into that ring. And the pieces went flying across the room. Stuck rings come in all shapes, sizes, and colors. In this case, looking at tungsten carbide, that first ring, that's the type you can crush we're talking about in this video. Right next to that is actually a titanium ring, looks very similar. Then we have stainless steel and stainless steel. If you get it wrong and you try and crush the wrong one, you crush it onto the finger instead of breaking it. So we're, I'm actually gonna show you a hot dog here, crushing the same stainless steel and titanium ring onto this hot dog, using the vice grips method to show you what happens if you get it wrong. Crushing these rings onto the finger is not what you want to do. Here you go, buddy. It's one way to get the ring off. There's actually an easier way to cut any of these rings. It's the dolphin ring cutter. We're gonna show you that next. Okay, so this is actually a stuck tungsten carbide ring. I was able to get onto my finger, but I can't get it off, uh, which works out just fine because we've got the ring rescue dolphin to cut it off. Let's get after it. Gonna slip the guard underneath the ring like that. Gonna close the guard, bring the ring in close to the blade. There, it makes contact. Gonna add a spray of lubrication to the cutting interface there. And let's get cutting. We're gonna record the time when we do it. And the dolphin ring cutter will automatically show you the progress from zero to 100%. All you have to do is sit there and hold the trigger. There's different ways to remove tungsten carbide rings. One is the vice grips method, which we already talked about. That involves crushing the ring at shards and shatters into a bunch of pieces. Very dangerous. Um, don't recommend that method. Tungsten carbide is very difficult to cut with Dremels and other tools. It's one of the hardest metals in the world. Uh, but the Dolphin Ring Cutter slices through it no problem at all. This is the first cut in this ring. If we have a stuck ring, generally you want to make two cuts on opposing sides, so it comes apart in two halves. We're going to show you this first cut, then we'll go ahead and make that second cut and have this ring fully removed. Um, you can see our progress is moving along really well. We're just coming up on a minute now of cutting time. The blue light reminds us to apply a little bit of extra lubrication periodically. And that lubrication actually traps all that cutting debris, which is great. So you can just wipe that off or rinse it off when you're done, rinse it off your finger. And this is nice efficient cut. As you can see, we're through the ring already, which is great. Um, you wanna wait until the indicator makes it all the way to 100% and flashes. That's when the device is telling you he's gotten through those little burrs all the way through. And that's when you wanna actually stop cutting, open the guard, and a minute, 30 seconds, we're all the way through that ring. I'm gonna show you here um, what it looks like. I'm gonna wipe off the debris. Okay, so that's actually the first cut. You can see a nice precision cut there in that tungsten carbide ring. We're just gonna make a second cut now on the other side, bring the ring apart in two halves. You can see that first cut there. Second cut's gonna go right there, let's do it. Just like last time, we're gonna slip that guard underneath the ring. We're gonna press the up button to bring the ring in towards the disc. Perfect, I'm gonna apply a little bit of lubrication right to the cutting interface there. And we'll start the timer, start the cutting. And we're through that ring. Look at that. Okay, can stop cutting. Tungsten carbide. Safely cut. Two halves into two pieces. Easy ring removal. Safe. No problems at all.